Alchemy of Souls finale, specifically episode 19 and 20, keeps me like jumping and crying and confused and awe and crazy. Yes, that's how they nailed the ending. If they gonna measure my blood pressure during that time, surely I might get a prescription afterwards. <laughs> Let's talk about why and how they ended it while amazingly making us craving for the season 2. Unlike other series that when they cut the block for each season, you will end like, that's it? So? Nothing big deal? But in here, this is very conclusive that the second season will really be about the next journey of a totally different flow. That's something to salute to the writers and creators. So here we go. Episode 19 has a very fast-facing flow that you will be like, what? And the revelations that comes one after another is just, OMG, what's gonna happen next? Like the following scenes. The accident that lead to Buyon becoming Modok and saying that Buyon is actually Jang Gang's daughter. It's like, What? Next is the meeting of Jang Uk and his father Jang Gang. I'm like, so what's the significance of this? But in the end, it was actually to save Uk from the blame of his father's sin. And this got me like, oh, I thought he didn't care for him after all, but I'm dead wrong. Next is Jang Uk's father, Jang Gang, meeting maid servant Kim to give her something for Jong Uk, as if he is really ready to sacrifice his life because he predicted everything. I was wondering that this kind of intelligence might be something he passed on to Modok. And the revelation of the location of the true queen. And the confession and escape of the real evil, the sessions inside the kingdom. And then, the bell rang. <laughs> this same bell reminds me of some creepy scene in some horror movies. And Modok running wild. I thought the high power of a priestess will save this, but no, no. What's cute is that while we are getting boiled in the intense scene, they are like this, behind the scene. Come on! <laughs> Now, let's go to the final episode, which started off so light and romantic. See this clips. Wow, the not so formal but full of connection proposal was just so cute. In this scene too, that makes it so normal to mothers getting her child into marriage but actually afraid of commenting too much as they might gonna be bald back. Majo. Then, the scene that kills Jang Uk. Nothing could be more painful than this. <laughs> Not the stabbing, but the fact that the woman you love killed you. <laughs> but anyway, she was taken over by being a soul shifter, so that should be understood. But hey, when he called the name Modok, she responded. 
the power of love is still there. Then Jungkook rising from the dead for having the power of the ice stone and totally changes him like transforming from a lazy and bratty young master to a real man chasing soul shifters. Can he save Naksu or Modok? Ah, season 2, please come up. Going back to them making this wonderful work of art in the form of film, see this behind the scene. See that they have created a good friendship already. But going back to our story, what are the expected dispute that may happen in season 2 that will be aired in December 2022? First is the preservation of Modok's body, the usage of the ice stone to bring back Naksu. The fight for love, whether be between the prince and Soyul, or between the prince, Soyul, and Jang Ok. So we didn't know. And one more thing, Jang Ok being the king will also be another friction between him and the prince. So I really can't wait how it will unfold. Now, think of this. Who is the biological mother of Naksu? For her to gain that huge amount of power, he must be from either of the four clans too. I personally have a suspicion that Naksu is just an adopted daughter and is actually the daughter of Park Jin and someone from Choi clan. Now let's talk about Jung Soo Min. Some say that it is still unsure if she will appear in the second season, but this clip tells otherwise. I was just wondering who helped her immediately while it was only Jinmu who knows where she is. Could it be Shaman Choi? My wild imagination is somehow taking over. <laughs> but really, I hope Modok's character as a great priestess should be highlighted more. And also, the mother and daughter relationship should be shown. Like, it has been the main core of the story but was left hanging until the end. So please don't remove Jung Soo Min in season 2. <laughs> That's it for now, Chingu. Share your wild guesses in the comment sections below and let's have an interesting exchange like just talking to a neighbor. <laughs> Thank you for staying with me in this video. Hope you will join me again on my next. And please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click that notification bell button. Annyeong! Thank you again!